Hi all, welcome to Leadership Lessons and I hope you're all keeping well and uh, strengthening the Lord. But before we uh, read today's scripture, let's just open up in prayer. Mm-hmm. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for today. We ask that your message equip every single leader so that they may be able to lead well and give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Okay, we're taking it from Romans uh, chapter 8 verses from 18. So let's read. For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which was which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly awaits for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to for, uh, to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. Because the creation itself will also be delivered from bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and labours with birth pangs together until now. Not only that, but we also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope. But hope that is is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Likewise, the Spirit also helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, these also called, whom he called, these he also justified, and whom he justified, these he also glorified. It's a beautiful truth that we can hold on to during times that we may not understand what the will of God is, but we trust in Him with all our heart and follow the Spirit's direction, which leads us into a kingdom dynamic, which forms part of intercession. This promise carries a deep instruction. We dare not suppose we can truly intercede effectively on the sole basis of our perspective or understanding. Since we never really thoroughly know how to pray as we ought, we must exercise the humility and faith to which God and let the Holy Spirit direct us. Presumption, supposing we already know how to intercede for others, will not only hinder maximum effectiveness, it will also cause us to miss the thrilling sense of adventure God wants to bless us with as we receive His insight and enablement for intercessory prayer. How do we know this with our infinite minds, whether God wants to move through us with weeping, travailing, wrestling, fasting and gifts of the Holy Spirit through dreams, visions, mental pictures, impressions and verses of Scripture? to quicken us or to silence, only by waiting on God and giving Him the time to move on and through us. In Psalm 62 verses 5, teaches the wisdom, My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. And a word wealth that we can look at is purpose, and that's uh, from pro, before, and setting forth. And the word suggests a deliberate plan, a uh, proposition, and an advanced plan, an intention, a design. Of 12 occurrences in the New Testament, it's used four times for the Levitical showbread. Most other usage point to God's eternal purpose relating to salvation. And our, perp- uh, and our personal salvation was not well planned, but demonstrates God's abiding faithfulness as He awaits uh, the consummation of His great plan for His church. So as we uh, finish off for today's lesson, I just want to encourage you that, uh, you know, just put everything to intercession, not knowing that you have got the right formula, but just yielding to the Holy Spirit. And remember, it says in Romans 8 verses 28, And we know that all things work together for the good, to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purposes. So He was going to work everything out. We've just got to trust Him. So I want to encourage you. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, Thank you for today. Let these words sink into the innermost beings and the hearts and the minds of every person who hears this message so that they know that you work 
all things for the good, for those that love you. And we pray this, and we pray strengthening, and we pray equipping for all the leaders so that they can lead well. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Okay guys, see you a little later. Sending you love.